Alright people, you know what you clicked on, so I'm not going to dick out and say, Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how what's the difference between... No, okay? So you know what you clicked on, alright? So what I've done is I brought up pages on Amazon of different kinds of 1080s and also 1060, the 1070 and the 1080 and I made sure that I clicked on all of one brand because I know there's people out there well there's different kinds you know different brands have names on them yes I know that okay so that's why I made sure that I brought up all one brand Asus okay so look at this this is the cheapest 1080 you can get five hundred dollars for Asus okay now, what do you get when you pay $500 for a graphics card? You get 4K and VR ready. That's not... You can get a decent 900 series and get that. That's not... That's great. Dual HDMI, that's on a nine, 900 series. Simultaneous, simultaneously connect headset and monitor, I don't know anything about that. GPU tweak, you can do that on a 980. Uh, blower cooled design with reference sized form factor ideal for SLI configurations. Um, I don't know what that is, but uh, thing is, a lot of the gaming community doesn't know what that is either. So, uh, but basically, when it comes to cooling, graphics card companies will stick you an extra 80 fucking dollars just for good cooling. And the point is, when I'm listening to my my computer it's usually one fan making all of the noise and it's a cheap fucking twelve dollar fan but I don't fucking care I don't care I'm wearing a fucking headset I can't hear it anyways so when fucking gaming companies are like oh so fucking silent who the fuck cares if I'm shooting people the only thing I'm gonna fucking hear is the gun and death and screaming and I want that if I hear the roar of an engine it's like the roar of a powerful car good I fucking like that but I'm wearing a fucking headset and if you're not wearing a headset when you game you're a fucking idiot it's the easiest way not to spend three hundred dollars on a stereo system to get the best fucking sound. And you can do this with $20 fucking headset. You don't need fucking bows and shit. You just do fucking $20, okay? So when they stick you for more fans, literally look at this. There's just more fans on it for 50 extra dollars. What the fuck? That's fucking stupid. And then you have the Founders Edition. Of course, I won't touch that. Uh, because that's $769. Now, the reason I'm looking into this is because I was considering it a 1000 purchase. But when it comes to cooling, your graphics card, if it's not customizable, like this one is, um, it as you can see uh, you can overclock it and all that shit um, but if you can't do that also power usage if you're fucking concerned about using too much fucking power maybe you shouldn't have a fucking gaming computer okay maybe you shouldn't because I swear to God if I try to plug my computer into a surge protector it won't boot up. It'll go, boom, boom, and it'll, it'll stop. Because this, it's so much fucking power that it's literally surging the outlet. Of course, if I were to, if I was to, theoretically, you can't really do this, but if I was to plug it into a surge protector while it was running, it could still manage that. But simply the boot power, so much is required to send to three hard drives, one of them a solid state, a 650 watt power supply. That's a lot of energy that just has to come from nowhere. 
But if you are concerned about fucking power usage, you should go kill yourself. No harsh chemicals. What are you running a fucking environmental blog here? No, you're not. You're using a fucking 1080 to get the most realistic fucking graphics anyone's jizzed in their pants, okay? You're not a pussy. You want good looking shit and fat tits when it comes to gaming with sexualized characters, okay? That's what everyone fucking wants. And just because people put, put on gaming, literally gaming, on onto their shit, they can upcharge you 300 bucks. You know what this probably costs them to make? 200 bucks. But they're going to charge you 500. I don't even know if Asus had any fucking say in this. Is they're just slapping the name on it. Quite literally. I honestly don't see the difference between Asus and EVGA. Now let's get into the specs, people, because this is also important. So from the one I'm on right now, you get an 8 gigabyte, which is probably the most important, the graphics card RAM, probably the most important out of everything. PCIe, which is pretty common, PCI Express. Um, that, that's super common. That's just the port to connect it to your motherboard. Now you have to be careful with these dimensions because it might not fit in your in your setup in your uh, fucking box cage stack case that's the word alright found it memory bus width uh, don't worry about that memory, memory clock speed that's kind of important but I mean look at the difference between this and the EVGA not very much so literally the same so for the EVGA you're getting this insane looking thing with 10 power phases double BIOS what the fuck is that DX12 OSD support RGB LED 10 centimeter fan so the, you're, you're, you're paying 50 extra dollars for literally just the title of that. And two fans. Um, the point is, your graphics card, if it's not customizable, will extremely minimize everything you're doing. Let's get back to the specs, because that's a little bit... So look at this. 8 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, $50 more. This is clearly the better choice, but... What, what the fuck is the difference between a 1080 and a 1070? Alright, I have a theory that the only fucking difference, because both of them have 8 gigabytes, the only difference is the numbers, okay? Let's test that theory out. Okay, here's the 1070s. Alright, so the price is 390, okay? So... This is the cheapest one we could find for the 1080, and then this is the 1070 Asus. Is it the cheapest one? Let's find out. That's the EVGA one. Uh, oh, that's a typo. 8,000 megabytes, 8,192 gigabytes. That's a typo. Um, does that say 1080 on the side? That that fucking says 1080 on the side. And it's a 1070. I swear to God, that says 1080. Oh, Jesus. So don't get fucked. Don't get fucked. Don't get dragged into VR ready. It's not really hard to get VR ready. Also, if you even want to get fucking VR on your computer, prepare to buy $800 for a Vive, okay? That's what it, that's what it fucking costs. Maybe you can get a cheaper one, but if you're if you're buying fucking VR right now, God Almighty, you are a fucking idiot. You are a fucking idiot. Want to know why? Because in two years, there'll be a cheaper VR system around the price of a PS4, like 400 fucking bucks, and it's going to be better than the Vive. I swear to God, if you're in, if you're buying VR right now, you're an idiot. And in two years. There be there'll be better VR games. You're an idiot if you buy VR right now. 
So don't get distracted on that shit. Super clocked. That is one turn that you should probably pay attention to. You can literally enhance the speed of your core clock as long as you can cool it down. So you can literally boost it, not by much, but you can boost it. So if you look at the memory clock speed of this one, that's a, a bit slower. That's a bit slower than the other ones. The other ones were around 1700. Uh, but you can probably boost, that's what the super clocking is for. Uh, but that would just get it up to normal levels, so that's fucking stupid. Uh, literally look at that. Another typo, unfortunately. Literally look at that. So you're, you're actually getting more memory, so just pretend that's megabytes, okay? Just pretend that's megabytes. You're, you're, you're getting more memory for over a hundred dollars less. Seriously. Really. You're getting 8 gigabytes, 8.192 gigabytes, which is more than this is for less. Come on. For $125 less. The clock speed isn't the same, but like I said, you can super clock it so it's different now but take a look at this what is this this is a 1070 gigabyte it's also got overclock the clock speed is 1771 1733 okay so look at that not only is it basically the same but it's fucking better this is the cheapest 1080 we could find, 500 bucks, 8 gigabytes, 1733 megahertz for the clock speed. Basically when it comes to graphics card, for those of you who don't know, 8 gigabyte is basically it. Like that, that's, you can get a Titan that has 12 gigabytes, um, but you're kind of limited. Now you, now you might be thinking, well what the fuck is the difference between the 1070 and the 1060? Well, I have the 1060 right here. 1060 has 6 gigabytes, so it is not in the realm anymore. You might have thought, well, what if you can go down from there and still get a 10, uh, an 8 gigabyte? Maybe. Let's see. This is a 1060, 6 gigabytes, 1060, 6 gigabytes, 1060, 6 gigabytes. Um, so, no, you can't, really. Um... I used to have a 750 Ti superclocked, and that had two gigabytes, and that could pull its weight with two gigabytes. That could fucking pull its weight. If you get a now, see if you got a six gigabyte superclocked, you could probably pull the weight of a 1080. No fucking, no fucking joke. You could pull it. Uh, but I still could not customize the clock speed. Or the, the fan speed. So that's fucked. Okay. I wonder if you can. You can. Okay. Um, so look at this. 250, 240, uh, 265, 250, 252. Uh, are these all overclocked? Super clocked. Uh, that's not overclocked. 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 In this case, EVGA would be the way to go. For 250, you'd get over 6 gigabytes of memory. A little bit slower than the 1080 with clock speed, but could definitely keep up. It could definitely beat the um, the EVGA in, in clock speed here. But I mean, for 250, you're getting a fine-ass fucking graphics card. For 2 fucking 50, you're getting a fine fucking card when I went from a, a 750 to a 970 that was a huge fucking jump and I was able to run insane fucking graphics but I'll tell you what people I have a 4k monitor and I can't run games in 4k rarely can I run games in 4k I can run Team Fortress 2 in 4k but that's because it's an old fucking game and it's animated it's different 
but for $250, you are getting a fine fucking card. Damn. I'd buy this. If I if I needed a, a card, I would buy this. I'm that's what I'm t I'm telling you right now. I would buy this. It looks good, but I mean that's you care you you care what you care about is the game looking good. Oh, I have one of those posters. I literally have that poster in my fucking room because uh, the t 750 that I have is an EVGA. So uh, right now I have an. I think it's just a G-Force. It's just a G-Force. Um, yeah, I would buy this. Oh, also, the fucking sticker. The sticker. That's what fucking matters, man. You slap that thing on, your KD will go up 0.2. Fun fact. And then I guess you can get different kinds of things that maybe decrease the cost. Single fan. 20 bucks less. Look at that. I keep my case open. You guys probably should too. Oh, look at that. You can get a 3 gigabyte version. Probably don't want to do that though. It probably doesn't cost extremely less. I would expect the cost to be cut in half. See, it does not get cut in half. But if you can, you get a, get a single fan for twenty bucks less, fuck yeah. But at that point, you might as well just get the two fans. So, ten sixty is pretty decent. But if you're looking for top of the line shit besides a Titan X, you're looking at a ten seventy or a ten eighty. Now, people might tell you, "We'll just go for the fucking ten eighty, bro. Just go for the ten eighty, bro." No, don't go for the 1080. Do your fucking research. So we found the cheapest 1080, 500 bucks. 8 gigabytes, 7, 1733. 1070 gigabyte, 8 gigabytes. What the fuck is that? 10,000 fucking megahertz. That must be a typo. What the fuck is that? Turbo cooling my ass. Also, if you water cool your shit, you're a faggot. You're a faggot if you water cool your shit. Get fucking real, please. So this is a bunch of different shit you can choose from. Look at that. That's $10 less. 8K display? What the fuck is that? That's the first time I've heard that written out. Is this a fucking thing? Sorry? Hold the fuck up. 8K display. Oh, great. These are good batteries, by the way. <laughs> Fun fact. Maximum resolution 4K, maximum resolution 4K, maximum resolution 4K, maximum resolution 4K, maximum resolution 5K for 900 fucking bucks. Maximum resolution... 4K, slightly over 4K. Maximum resolution 4K. Look, people, I got a fucking 4K monitor for 150 fucking bucks. If you buy this, you literally have a, a shittier looking monitor than me. My monitor looks like sleek black, and this is like got that plastic shit that we moved away from a long time ago. Look at that crusty black sh cr plastic shit. Look at that. There's a fucking scrape on it already. Look at that shit. See that? There's a fucking scrape on it. Already. Probably, did someone probably spit on it accidentally and it fucking scraped. I love how they show us batteries, by the way. That's entertaining. So I looked up 8K monitor and it just brought me a bunch of fucking 4K shit. But Lord Almighty, up to 8K display? Sorry? Are you... F what the fuck? That's some government shit right there. They don't want you to know that shit. But I mean, that looks pretty good. And for 10 bucks less. But the, I, I'm not going to go through all of these options. There's probably a very good option here. I've never heard of Gigabyte until today. 
but I mean, but point is you're in the $500 range with a 1080. That's that's the point, okay? That's the point. Now, if you just look at these 1070s, you're in the $400 range. Now, what are you getting for $100 less? You should be getting less shittier stuff, or like more shitty stuff, right? 8 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, 1700, 1800 megahertz, around there. Oh, here's one, 1700, 1700, 1700. So you're literally paying $120 more for basically the same fucking shit. You're paying... Let me say that again, you're paying $120 more for the same fucking shit. You're paying $120 more for the same shit, except you get to say as a dick flash, I have a 1080. Fuck you. That's what you get to say with $120 more is fuck you. Like, if you say, oh, I have a 1070, bro, and then a, a fucking crusty motherfucker walks in, and he's like, uh, I have a 1080, bro. That's cool. Like, fuck, fuck you. But he, he still gets to say that. And maybe you get to be the guy that says, I have a 1082, bro. Cool, bro, what's up? But honestly, if you're a fucking cunt, and you spend $120 on bragging rights, you're a piece of shit. Here, you're literally getting more. 8.192 gigabytes. For less. Come on. Isn't that like Walmart's motto? I personally would buy this, though. For five bucks more, you're getting the same clock speed uh, with just a little bit less RAM. Actually, fuck you. Gives a rat's ass about the clock speed. I'd buy this. Um, but, I mean, for 375 bucks, you're getting the finest graphics card out there. And if you look at the, ten, the 1060, you don't want to take it too much, too too far. You can run better graphics than me, that I am right now, currently, with, for 250 bucks. And I got my card for 180 bucks refurbished. So, shit. You're a fucking, basically, you're a tool if, if you buy a 1080. You're a tool. Okay, and then if you have people saying, Oh, shit, bro, just get a Titan, bro. Uh, you're dealing in the $1,000 range. You're definitely dealing the $1,000 range. Oh, wow, okay. I was just thinking oh, slightly below. A Titan Superclock 6 gigabyte? That seems fucking stupid. Oh yeah, for twice as much as the as the 1060, you can get literally the same thing. Cool. You gotta fucking look at this shit before you buy. 12 gigabytes. If you had this, you are... You're running three times better graphics than I am. So, shit, if you find an 8K display, you can run every game on it. Every game. Uh, but, uh, you have to have, this seems like a decent option, especially for the 12 gigabytes. You're, it's not proportional. The amount you pay is definitely not proportional at that point. Play 4K with ease. Well, son of a bitch, if I'm paying $2,000 for a graphics card... I better fucking play 4K graphics with ease. Guys, if you if you if you're left looking to take it to the next level, he, here's how I'm going to wrap it up. If you're looking to take it to the next level, you buy a 1070. Now, it is your personal preference from which of these you choose from, but I'm telling you right now, 
don't buy a 1080. Now if you want to take it to the next level that will secure your spot in gaming for a very long time, you can buy a car right here, a, a used car. You can buy a used car for $1,900. Um, but uh, it looks like these, what the f why is there no stats here? Well, shit, probably don't touch that then. That's very risky. Is Titan X super clocked? All right, get this then. Uh, 7,000 megahertz. That's fuck you level right there. I mean, if I if I if I wasn't at the if I had the same amount of money that I have right now, I'm not gonna brag about my fucking money. All of it I fucking earned. I paid for this PC as an 18 year old, as a 16 year old kid, from money I fucking saved up. I wasn't a fucking spoiled little rat that my parents bought it for me. I paid fifteen hundred dollars on a fucking computer. Okay? Now it's fifteen hundred dollars. Before it was like eight hundred. But I spent enough money on it now that it's eight hundred, okay? But if you want it this this is a decent purchase, this 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 tent this Titan X here. It's not outrageous. I'd say outrageous would be over two thousand dollars. There's there's six thousand dollar graphics cards out there, people. With ten gigabyte memories. But from my personal experience, this is a decent purchase. Oh shit, look at this. For $700, you can get a 1080 Ti Founders Edition that has 11 gigabytes on it. Well shit, I didn't even see that. With 11,000 megahertz. Well, shit. That's probably where it was getting, that's probably where the gigabyte shit was getting its, um, 1080 shit. Well, shit. Where was that? You could probably get that. That would be it. That would be a, a even better purchase. It actually has better clock speed than this Titan. So this 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 has bigger cocks than the Titan. Look at that. If I had seven hundred dollars to spend and that I wanted to spend, I'd buy this. And then you, I mean, you will be able to support the graphics that come out in the for the next four fucking years. You'll run it in 4K, no fucking problem. Play 4K with ease is that's a stupid thing to say. I personally cannot run 4K with my current graphics. It's just not gonna work. So my point is, you have to take a look at the fucking price and the RAM because that's really what matters. And if you buy a 1080, besides this one, 1080 Ti Founders Edition, shit. But a lot of it is just fucking say to squeeze money out of you. I'd say about 75% of the graphics card out there are just looking to fucking screw you. But people, I hope this taught you something. And I might buy one of these in the future, um, but I still have a perfectly good 970 sitting here, so if I do, I will probably give away my 750, because I might want to make a gaming computer and a streaming computer separately, because I basically have enough shit to do that. I have an extra processor that I'm not using, I have an extra graphics card that I'm not using, um, but if I ever did buy something like this, I would use my 970, and I might give away my 750, you know, as as like a stream milestone reward, you know, to a random person, and I might fucking sign it, you know, be like Red Zhead, ah, in like sparkly silver letters, okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, and you're not subscribed to this channel, I talk about shit like this all the fucking time. So if you want more of this, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. And make sure you do your own research, okay? Okay, bye-bye.